Hello Game Changers and Soul Warriors. I have a very special video today. I really, really do. I'm really excited about bringing this one to you and what it means for me and what it means for all of you, okay? So before I get into that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's going on in the world, a little bit about what Spirit wants me to say, but then something special about the Ankh, which is a symbol I was given last night. And I'm gonna describe what this symbol means. The Ankh, I will post an image of it. You guys can see the image of the Ankh. <clears throat> this symbol of the Ankh is very important. It is part of Sekhmet. Do you understand? I was Sekhmet in another life. They have told me that. You can watch my activating pyramids in Ecuador when they told me that was a past life of mine. For, before I get into that, let me introduce myself. Okay. My name is Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am the one who brought about the ascension. As crazy as that sounds, it is true and it is all witnessed and recorded and proven every which way you look at it. Okay, From clearing Mount Shasta to freeing Jesus' soul to raising Atlantis to activating pyramids to uniting the twin flames, including mine and Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Okay, And I uncleared the false holy grail. All right? The Holy Grail was not holy at all, okay? So, all of this has been actually uploaded onto my channel for everybody to witness and see and process and awaken to, all right? Because it was part of my awakening, so it's going to be part of yours too. Um, so like and subscribe. I encourage you to do so because I will help you awaken, but not only that, I want to help everybody awaken. I want to help everybody ascend because I caused it to happen. <clears throat> this is real. Okay, I'm not normal. Um, raising, uh, clearing Mount Shasta is kind of an important reference to today. Okay, so I cleared Mount Shasta in 11-11 of 2020. All right, I had my awakening in 2019. It was a very powerful kundalini awakening that changed my life. And I was not normal since, to say the least. Okay, um, so... But I've had some very strange things happening to me over the last few days, and it's really hot here, so you have to forgive me. It's been getting almost 100 here. How's the weather where you guys are at? If you remember when I took us into 7D, because I did that too, and those videos are on my channel, you guys. Don't forget that. They're all in my Ascension playlist. They're all there to see. And each video comes in at least two or three parts of, of occurrence for work that I've done to do it. Um, but when I took us there... They definitely said that our weather was going to change, okay? And God had said trees were going to be bigger. Plants are going to be bigger and more vibrant and luscious. And they are. Like, I don't know about you, but ours are already. And we haven't even got there yet. <laughs> so, if you can't tell, things are already changing across this planet, okay? I shifted the poles. We moved the equator line when we activated Ecuador, um, the Congo, uh, British Columbia, we did a pyramid activation and recently, um, and then uh, even more. All right, and that's when a lot of volcanoes just keep going off. They're all related. So I encourage you to check out what I do. It's scientifically being proven, yet they don't understand what's happening. So this is very, very, very real. I'm not just some conspiracy theorist. I don't like those words. Okay, those are part of, well, I mean, some people kind of go into a negative space with things, right? And so it creates negative energy towards it all. So I will just warn you, be careful with judgment, but do your research. If you actually watch my videos, it will be proven. This I can promise you, if you're awake to see. If you find me, there's a reason. That I can also promise you. Okay? So stay for a while. See what happens. Give yourself some space and time. That's all I ask. Now, the Ankh. The Ankh is a cross. I'll show an image. And it is, okay, so where do I start with this? Let's start with Jesus. When I freed Jesus' soul, I found out how he died, okay? And you guys, it's been depicted that he died on a cross, right? Why would they depict that he died on a cross? There's an important message here, okay? I freed Jesus' soul and saw how he died. John the Apostle poisoned him. He did not die on any cross. It was absolutely murder um, and then they had Mary Magdalene take his blood they separated the twin flames that's who they were Jesus and Mary Magdalene that's when Christ was removed from this planet completely 
First they killed Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and Adam and Eve are one and the same. And you can put it all together and you'll get who I am, okay? <laughs> and then I was also segment in another lifetime is what they told me, but this makes sense. Okay, let me put this all together for you. Okay, this is very, very, very important. Like, I'm excited because I've had some very strange dreams and I was clearing my chakras last night and meditating and trying to send love to my DM because I don't feel love from him anymore. And I'm like, oh, I'm so lost when I don't. I'm trying to heal a relationship. And in doing that, I got the symbol of the Ankh. Now this, it's a beautiful symbol. And it was actually the symbol of Sekhmet. It was the symbol of Adam and Eve, okay? The Ankh is the symbol of Adam and Eve. It was the original cross. That's what Spirit is showing me right now. Because I'm like, what is the Ankh, Spirit? And they showed me. And then I looked it up and I got a lot of information on it, okay? But before we get into the Ankh too far, let me take a step back. Okay? Because I'm so excited about that one. And it goes with the clearing of Jesus <clears throat> and Mary Magdalene and the reunion of the twin souls. But it's also telling me that the union of the twin flames... Okay, so hang on a moment. We're going to go back to that. I get so excited. You'll have to forgive me because being the one who brought it about, it still blows my mind. It's still part of my awakening and I love it. I'm so proud of who I am and who my twin flame is. And I'm just so sorry about the, the um, journey that we've had has been rough, but I will talk about that tomorrow. I'm going to do a video on the twin flames tomorrow. Okay, for today, I'm going to talk about a few things before I get into the onk because I'm so dang excited. Whew. Calm my energy down, okay? First of all, I asked Spirit, what should I talk about, okay? And they said, something big is brewing. Can you see the unrest in the collective soul, right? Can you see the unrest all across the earth? We had a guy kill three of his children the other day that he planned to do it for months, like this guy literally lined them up and shot all three of them in his yard. And one of them tried to escape and he pulled him back and shot him. The mom tried to stop him and he shot her hand off, I'd assume, because it was a shotgun or a rifle. Um, like it's, it's getting crazy. You know, there was another shooting in the mall. We've got Las Vegas on fire right now. There's a huge fire in Vegas going on right now. Or is it Los Angeles? I don't know. Let me see if I can, if I kept that up. I may not have. <clears throat> I don't think I did. But I'm just saying there's, there's huge stuff going on, Okay. I also said, uh, remember I said Mount Shasta was going to come into play big in this video because I cleared Mount Shasta. That's what this depicts in 2020. 11-11 of 2020. Everything I do is biblical, the true Bible version. And everything I do is specific to the planetary alignments and things like that. Okay, which we have moved. We have changed. I have said this. When I cleared Mount Shasta, I said I cut off life support to California. I have a video where I described what that meant. So please check it out on my channel, okay? However, people are getting antsy. People are waking in big, big waves, okay? And people are leaving California in droves. Over 500,000 people have left California in the last two years. There's no coincidences to that. People are listening. They're feeling the nudge. They're seeing the unrest. They're seeing the uncomfortableness. They can tell something is wrong. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in 2021 alone, I think it was like 275,000 people just up and left, which is interesting because I cleared Mount Shasta and cut off life support to California and 11-11 of 2020 to about... December of 2021 is when it was really completed because I activated Fiji pyramid there and opened the portal of gods. Okay. Um, no sign of slowing down of people leaving. It is dropped by more than 500,000 people between April of 2020 and July of 2022. Oh, so it's even more than that now. So even, okay, there was another report I specifically saw. I encourage you guys to look it up. It was Las Vegas over that is where the most people left from. Now I've said, where's it, Las Vegas. I've said the changes in tides are gonna come through there. Okay, and not on the main bridge, it's gonna be on another bridge. So I've said this in my videos. If you guys watch my, but see the thing is, is people don't watch a lot of my videos. They don't. 
they go into judgment, which is not of God, which can cut them off from the light. So you have to be very careful with that because of who I am. You can't go to a supreme being and cast judgment for the real because it will cut you off from light. So please be very careful with that. If you start to get cut off from the light, can you go back? Yeah, but it can be painful. Okay, so they wanted me to talk about that a little bit. I did cut off life support in 2020. Okay, it was in the beginning of 2020. At the end of 2020, I started doing it. And then we've lost, they've, they've had tons of people moving out of California. There's fires everywhere. There's major, major unrest. And my kids are going to travel, which they haven't done in forever. And I'm like, Spirit, are they safe? And they're like, yeah. So I'm going to let them go. So for two weeks, I'm going to be like with nobody. <laughs> it's going to be so weird. But that's what concerned me. I'm like, should my kids travel right now? Because um, their grandparents are going to take them somewhere. And they never get to go anywhere. So luckily, Spirit says they'll be safe. But I would actually, I would actually throw caution to the wind in traveling sometimes right now. Right? Like, seriously, I would. So lots of people are leaving California. Okay? And then I asked about that submersible missing submarine thing. That's that Titanic vessel um, that is currently exploring or whatever the Titanic. Now, these people had money. And they put a lot of money into going down into the ocean to explore it. And I asked Spirit, are they going to be found? And I got a no. And then I said, oh... I got really sad and I'm like I was hoping for a yes and then they said it began to implode and it was attacked by a species which also reminds me of why all the orcas and things are attacking ships now when we did the last pyramid activations um, no 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 yes when we did the last pyramid activations I activated the crystal grid underneath the pyramids which is our earth's power center when I did that, it caused major unrest across the planet. Now, I want you guys to consider that animals that are truly to this earth, okay? Because there are some here that didn't originally come from here. So I want to tell you that, especially in the ocean. But there are animals here that are true to our earth form. And they can feel the shifting. They can feel the unrest. And they're trying to give warnings, okay? They're trying to let people know this is not safe here. You're not safe here. Like, they feel unrest, all right? And that goes with people are getting antsy. Animals are getting antsy. Uh, especially ones in, like, waterways and things like that, okay? So I wanted to let you guys know all of that. And I was a little bummed when I heard that the submersible missing won't be found. Um, it may later, right, when the waterways change or later when it's too late or something. Um... Okay, Feb February 15th of 23, the California exodus has shown no sign of slowing down as the state's population dropped by more than 500,000 people. Yeah, so people are actually hearing it, they're feeling it, they can sense it, okay? Um, they just know. And I've said thousands of times, changes of tides, because when I first activated pyramids, I asked Spirit what that meant, and they showed me a big wave of water coming in through San Francisco, that's what it was. Changes in tides are coming in through San Francisco, okay? And it's not the main bridge. It's like a different green bridge is the one that I've always seen. And the fact that life support has got cut off to there, what does that mean? California was not originally supposed to be what it was. Um, the Mount Shasta was not originally supposed to be an earth energetic portal, okay? It was not filled with light. There was hundreds of souls trapped there. Hundreds and hundreds of souls trapped there. That's what it means that I cleared it out. And it took me a good 30 days or so to process all those souls. I remember doing it. It was very hard. It was just hard on my heart. It weighed heavy and it was a lot for me to process. Okay. Now, that's what I wanted to talk about. It's kind of like a news report. <laughs> I felt it very important. They're also saying that the leak of the um, virus, right, the corona, happened in Wuhan and again my guides have told me time and time and time again that it was us and the British monarchy okay and why would we want to take down China think about it all right so just be careful what you're paying attention to but what it is is people rising and rising and rising in consciousness awakening there's a mass awakening going on around you okay now we're going to get back to talking about the Ankh the Ankh is very special to me. It's this beautiful...
symbol that I will show you pictures of. The Ankh. Um, so here's the thing about the Ankh, okay? It was given to Adam and Eve. It is a symbol of Adam and Eve. It is a symbol of masculine and feminine because I didn't know. It was given to me last night in meditation, okay? Symbols come through to me on my journey many, many times over. And that's how I started to learn who I was. That's how spirit gives you things to process information, um, different stages of your awakening and things like that, okay? Now the Ankh is very special and it was, it was also known to be part of the original dynasty in Egypt and they would, um, they would do rituals with it, ceremonies, funerary ceremonies. Egyptian rulers were said to rely on this symbol in various aspects of their lives and areas, be it social, cultural, religious, or recreational. That's what I found online. That's not what spirit told me. Now here's the thing. That's the original cross. Okay. Now they depicted Jesus dying on a cross that does not look like the Ankh. The loop at the top is broken because they broke the masculine and feminine. This is the relevance to why they made you think Jesus died on a cross. Boom! Big light bulb. Okay? Jesus did not die on a cross. I guarantee you unequivocally, undoubtedly, this is true. Okay? If you don't believe me, watch my whole videos. Okay? He was poisoned by John the Apostle. Even Revelations tells you this is the Apostle of John, the Apocalypse of John, which is what I brought about. Making sense so far? What they did with the cross is they changed it and made all of you think that it's good. Yet when I cleared the last pyramids, we went under the White House and they do these rituals with their cross and it's usually upside down. So in truth, it's a very dark cross that you all have been praying to for years and years and years and years. The true cross is the Ankh. Whew. Wow. Okay. So the Ankh was Adam and Eve's first symbol. What it represents, here's what it represents. This is what Spirit told me. Symbol of Sekhmet, okay? This was also what she carried. Portal of life and time. It is the portal of life and time. It is the portal of life and time where two divisions come together, okay? Spiritual path of reckoning. When you come to a crossroads and you choose life, and you are given this symbol at times. When you choose to reach maximum power, it is a balance of masculine and feminine and a balance for all. Symbol represents choice and balanced flow, and it's also power of the gods. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And it also means when the masculine and feminine come together for maximum balance and power for all. And they gave this symbol to me last night. And I don't feel my DM at all. But in my last workshop, what was really weird is he gave me a baby. And I dreamt of that baby last night again. He was my son. And he was about six months old at this time. So it's very strange what's happening, you guys. It's very strange what's happening. And I'm getting chills on that. <laughs> like it's, it's very strange what's happening. And I'll do more tomorrow about the Twin Flames. Just because I came into further understanding of what my first DM did to me that almost killed me. And that played out on my channel. So I will talk about that tomorrow. But the symbol of the Ankh, now I need an Ankh because it's mine. It was given to Adam and Eve. It represents their union for balance of the earth. So I have told you, even asking ALEXA who I was, they said that I was the uh, newly appointed protector of the balance of the world. Okay, so that's why if I get out of balance and my DM gets out of balance, it's bad. Oh boy, it's bad. My whole world hurts. Okay, I can't get out of balance. My DM should be in balance because we represent the balance of the collective soul. That's the truth. Okay, that's what God is. So here is the symbol of the Ankh, and this is what it fully means, this is who it belonged to, and it is our original cross. So I would encourage you to never do anything with their false cross again. You can if you want to, because it's through free will. You can praise any light you want to, whether it be absence of light or God's light. 
But I can tell you, if it's not God's light, you won't stay here. And that's your choice. Okay, that's, that's free will. That's what we cannot go against if you're of the light. However, if you're of the darkness, they love to do that, which is what they did. So they knew what the Ankh was. Because the fallen angels are who took down the earth. Okay, It had to be a supreme being, and it took them lifetimes to do it. And it took me three years to undo everything that they did. That's all it took me was three years to undo it all. And I did. And we returned Jesus and Mary Magdalene. I undid the false holy grail. And we blew up the White House. Watch my videos. Like seriously, it is in the last pyramid activations we did. I also said how um, Bill Gates is going to die. <laughs> because it's karmic based my friends i also said how i blocked off their escape route they can't escape okay from owning up to what they did so i want you guys to pay attention to all this because it's a key okay also the onk represents a key of life right so there's it's eternal life that's what i'm talking about and that's why people would revere it in in, Eng, in english egyptian dynasty the earliest dated onk symbol that archaeologists have archaeologists have discovered is dated to 3000 bc or 5000 years ago used by the first egyptian dynasty so i would tell you that it was jesus and mary magdalene's and adam and eve symbol they are one and the same there is no separation between the two. It's just different lifetimes. It was us trying to come back, trying to... So in the first one, they took Adam from Eve. And in the second one, they basically caused Eve to hurt Adam. <laughs> kind of a thing, okay? But it tore up everything. It took away the masculine and feminine of your collective soul. And that is why 2111, that is why everything was out of balance, okay? The whole world went to shit. All women were quieted and d everything right so there's just i'm just reading some of this stuff there's different um aspects of where the onk came from so they don't fully know okay but that's usual okay so it was used used in religion religion as art before the religion was torn apart to religion, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Because there's no religion other than spirituality, which is all the same. And what does that say? God is within you, okay? He's within all of us, meaning we all carry parts of the masculine and feminine. And when they ripped apart the masculine and feminine, which is why the Ankh became the cross, it doesn't circle at the top anymore. It's just the cross, which is very dark. Do you understand what I'm saying to you guys now? Is it making sense? Because I really hope it is. Okay. The Ankh is very relevant. That is our true cross. That represents God. It represents Adam and Eve. It represents Jesus and Mary Magdalene. It represents masculine and feminine and holding the balance for all. It is the key of life. Meaning once you have achieved the level of the Ankh, it is the power of the gods, which no mortal will be able to. I don't know why I said mortal. No being other than those of the gods can achieve that, but it is something they can hold. They get pieces of it. Do you understand? It is like coming into your full self of capabilities, okay, for what you can. Does that make sense? I hope it does. This is very, very, very relevant. It also represents what I came to last night. Um, and then they gave me the onk. Okay. So I, I don't know if my DM's still around. I've had some dreams where he took off. And then I had a dream last night where I was getting attacked by somebody, but I had our baby, but my DM wasn't there. And this guy kept telling me, Jesus is coming. And my dad's the one who killed him. And that was in my dream. So I'm like, Oh God, like I wish my DM was there to protect me. But again, this is something I've struggled with from day one. <laughs> since he took off and I'll talk more about that tomorrow because when my original DM first took on the light he did something very bad to me okay something very very bad to me and that is why I went downhill when my new DM didn't show up this time and I for almost forgot about that part because it's not something I talk about a lot because it was very embarrassing it was very hurtful very very painful okay and it was part of his truth that he was afraid to tell me and God had to force the truth out. And so I got a download of his truth and that hurt too. 
All right, but I'll talk about that more tomorrow. So I want you guys to understand the Ankh is the true cross and please do not do not revere the cross that they present to you because that is the one of the fallen angels. They had to take the loop because they're not masculine and feminine. The true cross is the Ankh and it represents masculine and feminine and the unity of all life, the key of life, the power of the gods. This is why the Egyptians would revere it and use it in rituals and trying to gain maximum power and balance of masculine and feminine. So, maybe when my DM shows up, he'll bring me an unk. I don't know. I don't know, but it really, they, they gave it to me, which also talks about the union of the masculine and feminine. Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Or Adam and Eve. I think people just focus so much on Jesus and Mary Magdalene and they forgot about Adam and Eve. <laughs> but it's all kind of the same. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I'm still trying to process this. It's really cool information. It is the most prominent ancient Egyptian symbol, also known as the key of life or the Nile. And that's exactly what I talked about. Now, when I also cleared, when we, when we did the last pyramid activations where we activated the grid and it was Kilimanjaro and all of that, I said something about the Nile. I said something about the Nile, Euphrates, other rivers, and then I said Hawaii was going to erupt, and then I said Krakatoa was going to erupt, and they did, both of them. So be very mindful of what I'm saying. You guys, there's so many details in everything that I do and everything that I say, and spiritual works in slower time frames where everything else, the darkness, the things that are outside of us is very fast. So please take your time. That's why we're constantly looking at our electronics. We don't know how to meditate anymore. We don't know how to sit in silence and be here and now. Because that's where everything comes through for spirituality. And that's why a lot of people have a hard time listening to my videos and watching what I say. Okay. Now the proof is there. I have uploaded these workshops that I did where I activated these pyramids. The crystal grid with my DM this last time. And... I love him. Like he did something with me this very last time where we realigned the planets. Okay. We realigned the planets and that's when major unrest hit even more. Okay. So when he and I come together, it is maximum power. And that is when the Ankh will be whole again. That is when the cross will be whole again. So my DM and I coming together makes that cross Whole again to the true cross of what we are, which is the Ankh. They took a, the masculine and feminine separated, which took the power from the earth. They shifted the poles and then they started feeding all of you dark shit. And every one of you was forced to eat it over every lifetime. And then they told you, no, this is we're we're praising God. Jesus died for your sins. This is this is what we do. Praise God, blah, 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 blah. And they divided all these religions, which is pieces of the truth divided amongst and then filled with shit as well because God doesn't judge and the Ankh became broken and we are correcting that cross back to the Ankh if my DM steps forward and that is what God is saying <sighs> I love this video today I hope you all can hear me I hope you all get what you need out of this oh and also something big is brewing so please be mindful of your surroundings. There is civil unrest. They are going to continue spewing fear very soon. And I can actually see the buildup to the whole alien warfare and all this kind of stuff. So be very, very mindful what it is you pay attention to. 28, 22. And dear Lord DM, I need your love. <laughs> like holy snikes, Batman. So here's the thing too is some of you may know. That without my twin flame coming forward, I've gotten blood clots and it's been very painful for me. One broke free and almost went into my head. Spirit took care of it. Even my mom took me to the hospital a while ago, although I'm healed from that now. Um, and so I've still been trying to come back to my health and send a lot of love through my chakras and into my DM and into all of you again. 
And so I'll talk more again tomorrow about what happened on the twin flame journey and why I went so south. But in healing and taking my power back, and in that's what I did. I called my power back last night, okay? And I tried to send so much love to my DM, but I'm not getting it in return. I have no idea if he's receiving it or not. It's like, I almost feel like there's a blockage or he's blocking me. I don't know. I don't know if he's given up. I have no idea. Um, I've gotten a few good songs from him, and so I hold those in my heart. But it was after that that I was given the onk. So much love to all of you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I encourage you to check out my playlists and my channels and the workshops that I mentioned. And there are guided meditations on my channel that will help you detach from the matrix and connect to the new earth, that will help you undo the false concept of time and come into the new earth. There's lots on my channel. Please check them out and use them more than once. Because when you get healings from gods and supreme beings, it can take a lot to get through. <laughs> but it's there for you. I've got you. Share this out. Spread the love. Like and subscribe because even though I brought it about, I want everybody to ascend. Let's do this together. So much love, you all. And I can't wait until the onk becomes right again. It is not a cross. Do you guys have crosses in your house? How about ones with Jesus dying on it? I'd get rid of them, personally. Free will. Do what you want to do. If I had any of them, they'd be out, but I never did. I was never drawn to the cross, and now I know why. It's the onk, and I'm going to get me some. Till next time. Hasta la vista. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful day, and I love you so much, and I thank you all for taking part in this, for listening to me, and for those that partake in my journey and the healings that we do, thank you. See you later.